welcome back to my channel so i know i've been away for a while but one of the main things that was bothering me for my channel was the fact that i didn't just have my setup i still don't have my setup like if you were to see my living room right now it's a mess because i had to like move everything around to kind of get everything set up and so I'm trying things out, trying new backgrounds, new setups, uh, new lighting, and so I guess this is the first video with that, and we'll see how everything looks when we're all done. But for today's video, I'm going to be doing another empties video. So I collect like all of the things, makeup, hair, body, everything like that, and I just put it away when it's empty so that I can make these videos to let you know if I would repurchase it, if I wouldn't, why, why not, um, and just what I think about the product. And so now that this bag is full again, I am going to go through it with you guys and just let you know what I think about everything and just give my opinion on that. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so the first thing, I think I have a couple in here, or yeah, literally a couple. So the the Batiste, I always have the hardest time pronouncing this, but Batiste um, dry shampoo. This is just the original one. Um, I really enjoy this dry shampoo. It's not my number one favorite. I think that one is in here. Um, oh, Dove dry shampoo. I did not like this one, but we'll go into that in a second. Um, where is it? It's the... Um, I think it was in my last video that I did with the empties, but I've been trying new ones, so I haven't repurchased it, but the dry bar or um, whatever it's called from Sephora, I think it's dry bar, but their dry shampoo is freaking amazing. It's probably my favorite. Um, this one is also really good. I would repurchase this again as you've seen I have, and I have another full-size bottle over there. So this definitely for the win. Um... They have a couple different ones. I think they have ones for brown hair, blonde hair. I guess really all dry shampoos are for people with blonde hair. Um, but they have one for dark hair. They have different scents, ones with more volume and different things like that. I feel like I don't see differences when they divide their products that way. Like this one just works for me. When I use the volume one, like it doesn't give me more volume I don't know I just like the original one uh, all I want is for my hair not to look greasy and that's what it does for me so I really like that I'm not a fan of the Dove this is a refresh plus care volume dry shampoo I don't know why it just did not do the trick for me um, I felt like I had to put a lot in or it just didn't it didn't make my hair look more clean I feel like it kind of added to whatever was there. Um, so would not get the Dove one again, would get the Batiste again for show. So the Morphe Con Continuous Setting Spray, I really like. At first I couldn't order it online just because it's the aerosol can, um, but now it's at Sephora, so I can actually get it. Um, I'm not a huge setting spray person at the moment just because my daily routine, I don't really need setting spray. Um, I just like I don't do full faces of makeup anymore like even right now I'm not wearing foundation I just have concealer under my eyes on my chin and my forehead and then I have my bronzer on and I'm gonna do um, a day-to-day -day, uh, an everyday makeup tutorial um, for you guys just because I do my makeup so different compared to how I used to do it when I started my channel and so I don't use setting spray a lot, but I really did like this one. And when I start doing full faces of makeup again, or if I go out, then I usually reach for a setting spray. And so if I want a setting spray again, I will buy this one again. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't use setting sprays every single day. And so I haven't repurchased it just because right now it's just no point for me to repurchase it. Um, this is not empty because I hate it. This is the Too Faced Peach Mist. It's the mattifying setting spray. I don't know what it is, but you have to make sure you shake it like crazy because the amount of times it's one, sticky, two, it leaves like little white specks everywhere. And I think that's the, cause it's infused with peach and 
sweet fig cream so if you don't shake it up really good then it's the product is not mixing and I was finding like little white specks like all over my face and like obviously that's not what I want for my setting spray so I just did not like that one Alright, foundation. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, waterproof long wear liquid foundation, matte finish. This was very good. Um, when I do wear foundation, I want it to be full coverage and that's what this gave me. I love this foundation. Uh, I went through a little bit where I was, as soon as I would be out of a foundation, I would try a new one. And so I have a couple different ones in here. But I really did enjoy the all-nighter, and I would totally purchase that again. Uh, and next, we'll just keep with foundation. Um, the Huda Beauty. I have a couple in here, I think. Oh, yeah. Huda Beauty, I, I don't know. I don't... It's very full coverage, which obviously I was just saying I love. But there's just something about it that it just felt very heavy on my skin. And I know it's like, oh, it's full coverage. Like, what do you expect? But I've tried so many foundations that are full coverage, but don't feel like I don't feel the weight of a full coverage foundation on my face. And um, I feel like that's kind of what everybody wants. Um, I want to be a cake face. I don't want to feel the cake face. <laughs> and so I'm just not really into the Huda Beauty foundation. Um... I don't try a lot of things from that brand, but I tried that, just wasn't for me, coverage was great, everything like that was fine, it was just too heavy for me. And next is the Lancome, the, uh, it's kind of worn off, it's the Miracle one, Tint Miracle I think. This is such an amazing foundation. Oh my goodness, I would buy this a thousand times over and over and over again. This is one of my favorite foundations. Full coverage, lightweight. It just, oh my goodness, it felt amazing putting it on after it was set. Like it just, my skin always looked beautiful when I had this foundation on. Excuse me. Um, and so I would totally buy this again, and uh, it's a little bit more on the pricier side being Lancome, but 100% loved this foundation, it's one of my top foundations, and uh, yeah, if I go, I don't really have any foundation right now because I just use concealer on the day to day, um, and so if I go and buy another foundation, I think I'm going to pick up the Lancome one because it was just so, so good. Um, next, the Kat Von D Locket. This is also not empty, <laughs> but it was just, I don't know, it's too heavy, um, very full coverage. It feels like I'm literally painting my face, and so if you like that, great, but it was just way too heavy for me. I just, I don't know, I wasn't a fan. Uh, 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 uh. oh, ooh, the, oh. Origins Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer. This primer is so good. It's like a little, I think there's, is there a tiny bit left? Oh yeah, just a little bit left. But it's just like a little mousse and it feels so cooling on the skin. And it feels so good. Just like to start off your day and putting that cool sensation on your face. It smells so freaking good. It smells so good. 100% would recommend. Makeup went on great on top um, and it lasted me all day. I didn't see any issues. Would get this again for sure. Um, this one I think is a little bit pricier, but totally worth it. I love it. And I've never had a primer with this like consistency and um, a primer that is a mousse or like a foam with the cooling sensation. And so it's just different than any other primer I've tried. And that's also another reason that I love it. Oh, what's next? Oh, another foundation. Ooh, for my drugstore, peeps, the Matte and Poreless by Maybelline, the Maybelline Fit Me. These foundations, this is my favorite drugstore foundation. The Maybelline Fit Me foundations are bomb. And they're like 10 bucks or something like that. Um, or unless the price has gone up, but I feel like they should still be around 10, 11, 12 dollars. Um, in Canada and so this is so good I always go for the mask I find that I get um, a little bit 
illuminous through the day and uh, so I like to do matte foundations. I don't want to be shiny and so the matte and poreless is so good. 100% would buy again. Sorry, my phone's going off and it's just like way over there. I'm not, I'm not going to get it. Oh, it is in here. Or wait, triple set. So it is dry bar, okay. The, the dry bar, dry shampoo is so good. This is the triple set, the three in one. Texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. That's what this is. And it is so good. When I curl my hair, I'll flip it upside down. I'll spray this underneath. And my I flip my head back over and my curls are just like boom. I used this in my video when I did my tutorial of how I curl my hair and get it super big and volume. Um, and this is what I use. I love it. It smells so good. And their shampoo, dry shampoo is my favorite as well. So this would 100% buy again. Love it. They also have a candle in the same scent because it's just such a good scent. It's oh, so good. So good. Um, what is this? Oh yeah, so this is the Stila Cosmetics Light Shade and Shape and Shade Custom Contour Duo. And honey, it is loved. It's used, it's loved. I loved it. I had this for so long. It lasts to be so long. I would always use it. Cream contour. Um the light shade under my eyes, which I didn't love doing. My favorite part of this was the contour section, but I did use the light shade, the light side as well. But this is a very good, 100% recommend, and would totally buy it again. All right, we're just like flipping through. So, ooh, this is the Born, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which I'm sure. So many of you have heard about. Um, it was so popular. I heard it from Jamie Genevieve and she loved it. Was it Jamie Genevieve or Tati? I feel like it was both of them. But um, it smells so freaking good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's expensive, it smells very good. It's very rich and creamy and just like a little goes a long way and your skin does feel amazing after using it. I would totally get this again, um, but I, right now just have like a massive bottle of Vaseline sh um, lotion that's way cheaper and so I go for that one but if you want to splurge a little bit on body lotion and treat yourself I would definitely get the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream it's so good um, mm -mm -mm. oh yeah Laura Mercier translucent setting powder 100% would buy again. I have another one this size over there and then a new little one. I love it. I've gone through probably like seven of these through ever since I started using it. It's my favorite setting powder and I will always go back to it. I like the RCMA one, but it's just way too white. This one is more, um, definitely way more translucent and doesn't leave any white cast or anything like that. And so this one for the win, for sure, 100% would buy again bought it many times and will recommend it to anybody if they ask me about the setting powder. Next, we have a lot of concealer. Um, I'm gonna do concealers last because there's a lot in there. So, for more cream, this is the Ula Hendrickson, the Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is what made me love eye creams. I'm trying out a couple different ones, but this one is so good. Ula Hendrickson, their brand is just amazing. Skincare is top freaking notch. Um, I would 100% recommend this. 100% buy it again. Love, 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 love. All right, bronzers, Bahama Mama bronzer. This little baby lasted me so freaking long. I love this bronzer. It smelled very good. Lasted me a very long time. It was very natural. It was a very neutral bronzer. Not too warm, not too cool. It just was very perfect for my skin. Um, I had very neutral toned skin. So some bronzers are just way too warm. And contouring stuff sometimes is just way too cool. And it looks ashy and muddy on my face. But the Bahama Mama is very good. And I would totally recommend. It's by The Balm. 
So last before concealers, I have one perfume. This is Ariana Grande perfume. It's the first one she ever came out with, the original Ariana Grande perfume. It has the little puff, the white puff. This is my favorite perfume. I got this bottle um, like four months ago. So I got my very first one when I didn't really wear perfume. I got it like two years ago for Christmas or three years when it first came out. And I it lasted me three years because I would rarely use perfume. And so then I started wearing it more and more, went through it like crazy. My boyfriend's mom got this for me for my birthday when she came to visit. And I went through it in like three months. And now I have like all the little minis and I just, I love, even all her new ones, it's kind of the same scent, and that's just the type of scents I love. And so all Aaron Ariana Grande's perfumes, I freaking love them, and I would buy them over and over and over again, and that's all I wear. Um, I don't have any other perfumes, I just have Ariana Grande perfumes, and I love them. So definitely get your hands on those, and they're actually not too pricey either. It's a pretty good price, pay, price point for perfume, I personally feel. Alright, so we're almost done, let's get into concealers. First and foremost, number one, which I've said before, is the Tarte Shape Tape. I freaking love Tarte Shape Tape. I usually get light, light sand, and fair neutral. Uh, these are the best. Like, this is what I'm wearing right now. This is what I wear every day. I wear it under my eyes um, with a little bit of the Bourjois uh, Healthy Mix Anti-Age or Anti-Fatigue Concealer. I put a little bit on top, um, but the Tarte Shape Tape will be my number one, my number one full coverage concealer for sure. And I don't know when that will change, but not anytime soon. So definitely recommend. The only shitty thing for me is I have to order them. I can't find them in any stores. I feel like only in the states they have them in stores, but not here in Canada. And so I do have to order them whenever I want them, which is not a huge deal, but it's always all the shipping costs and blah, 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 instead of just walking into a store, picking my shade and being done with it. Um, and I hate picking shades online because I'm just like, what if it's not the right one? And yada, yada, yada. And so that one I would totally recommend, but if you're in Canada, you are going to have to order it unless there's just a mysterious store that I've never heard of or don't know about that sells them. But a concealer that you can get here, this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix, the Anti-Fatigue Concealer. These little guys, they're so small, I wish they were bigger. Um, but I love this so much. They only have three shades in this one, which I feel is weird. But it's on a lighter coverage side, and so it's easy to blend out. But um, I'm using one of the, like the almost the darkest one when I was tanned in the summer. And so I feel like that's just not a good shade range. But I love it. I love them so, so much. Um, I use this on top of the Tarte Shape Tape right now just because I'm kind of in between shades. And so my Tarte Shape Tape is super light. And then my Bourjois is very dark. And uh, yeah, so I'm mixing them at the moment. Ooh, at the moment. But I love both those concealers. This one is so good. I just got a Shoppers Drug Mart. So good. A little bit on the pricier side, especially for the size. Like they're like thirty-two dollars, and they're just so small. Like they're the size of my ears. Um, but I do love them, and I have two more over there, and I've gone through two already. Um, but oh my gosh, no! I have the darkest shade because there was light, medium, dark, and this is dark. Yeah, in the summertime, I use the darkest shade, and ha. Huh, what the heck? That's just not a good shade range, but I I just love this concealer so much. And the last one, the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. This concealer is a very, very good, very full coverage. I accidentally got the illumination one instead of the matte one, so I always had to set it like crazy because I hated, I hate shiny, being shiny like I was just saying, but this is a very good concealer. Um, very thick like you're painting it on um but totally would recommend so uh, yeah that concludes my empties video what i would buy what i wouldn't buy obviously most of it i would buy again other than the dove and a couple of the foundations but and the one second spray
but yeah so that's just how i feel about these products if you have any questions i'm like oh i don't know if i should try that or not that is my input on these products if that helps at all um let me know down below how lighting was i'm trying on a new backdrop i don't know how i feel about it i've never ordered like i've never gotten backdrops or anything like that before just starting now and so thought i would go for the white brick mm, i don't know how i'm feeling i'm still trying to figure out my whole filming setup it's a little bit difficult uh, in my new apartment it's smaller than the last and so i've been trying to work with that but uh thank you guys so much for watching now that i have new lighting a tripod for my camera and i'm not just setting it on a bunch of books and i have my backdrop my backdrop stand uh, i will be filming videos regularly um and i've worked out kind of with my work schedule what days work best for me and so i'm hoping to film saturday sunday because uh, I work during the day, so at night I can film, edit, and put two videos out a week is my goal. Um, I know I've been MIA from YouTube for a long time, and uh, this is one of the things I love. I love makeup, I love doing my YouTube videos, and so I am going to get back into those because I freaking missed it. Like, even just sitting down right now, it feels so good to be filming. Um, I even have to practice editing again because I, in my brain, like, forgot some of the like controls to do like to cut and just like things like that and so it's been a while and uh i'm sorry for whoever watches um if you even care but yeah i'm gonna be getting back into it and so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i could help out if you had any questions or didn't know what a product um but yeah so thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you soon